And the Oscar goes to Godzilla. While Godzilla didn't win for Best Actor, it did win for Best Visual Effects. Godzilla Minus One is the first film in the Godzilla franchise to be nominated and win an Oscar, marking a historic achievement in the franchise's 70-year history. Director Takashi Yamazaki is the first Japanese winner of the Best Visual Effects Oscar and also served as the film's visual effects supervisor, a rare achievement paralleled only by Stanley Kubrick for 2001, A Space Odyssey. The film set post-World War II sees Godzilla emerging from the shores of Tokyo, drawing inspiration from the original 1954 Godzilla movie. Despite not aiming for an Oscar nomination, Yamazaki expressed his elation over the film's recognition, describing it as a wonderful day for Godzilla. Yamazaki achieved awe-inspiring visual effects for Godzilla Minus One on a modest production budget of only $15 million, without using AI generative technology. <laughs> And with a team of just 35 artists, he emphasized Godzilla as a metaphor for nuclear warheads, echoing the themes of the original 1954 film and underscoring the relevance of this message in today's world. The film grossed $56 million domestically, but is notably not available on home viewing platforms in the US. Come on, I want to watch it again! A black and white version was released later in Japan and the US. Yamazaki melded the series' entertainment value with political subtext, creating a film that balances pop culture appeal with a deep ideological message. There's only one Godzilla.